And now, live in studio, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Yes, and here we are again, another day committed to helping you win in any marketplace. That is our goal. And we're going to educate, entertain, enlighten, and most importantly, we want to engage with you in an effort to help you win. The only thing I'm addicted to right now is winning. Save our hotline number in your phone because at some point we think you're going to need it. 813-670-7372. You used to call me on my cell phone. 813-670-7372. And we don't care if you're climbing that corporate ladder, if you throw a ladder in your truck on the way to work, this show's for you. We're going to help you win. All-star lineup, Intelligent Talk Radio. I've got some intelligent folks in studio with me today. Nick Kick, BBMC Mortgage. Welcome back in, sir. Thank you. Good afternoon. How are you doing today? Excellent. Good, good, good. Yes, sir. And uh, Nick is our expert contributor in the mortgage space, uh, all things mortgage. Uh, we have our uh, Money Minute segment we do. Uh, sometimes he calls in. Today he's in studio. So, yes. Yes. yeah, Glad man. Glad to be back. Glad to be back. Good stuff. Also, Leo Kane in the house, Barrel Project Management Engineering. Welcome in. Oh, yeah. I'm glad to be here. So, uh, Nick, if you specialize in money, can you tell me why crypto dropped 20% overnight? <laughs> I would <laughs> yeah. love to, but you're a little bit out of my specialty. Oh. <laughs> I'll talk mortgages. I'll talk your ear off on mortgages. But talking crypto, it's a little bit out of my league. Okay. Then I guess we should talk about Tropical Storm Gordon. Yeah, that's um, right. Because it came out of nowhere and it smashed into South Florida. And we can help those people get new roofs. Yeah. Did, did you see any damage? Did you see any kind of reports on the damage? Was it, was it kind of... The, the power lines are still down. People are without electricity. Fires are raging everywhere. I'm just making this up off the top of my oh, head. Okay. <laughs> it happens yeah. so fast. I'm actually meeting with an attorney right after this to discuss the market and what actually happened down there. So nice. next time I'm on the show, I'll have a full update for you. It was great. You know, we were down there, uh, went to the Ritz Carlton to watch the you know Miami game with some friends and stuff, and then we uh, woke up the next morning and then boom, and just looked outside and it's like, wow, these are this is a real storm. It came out of nowhere. Yeah, I kind of figured it out over the weekend when it was like Florida it's supposed to rain between 3 and 5. Uh, only this time over the weekend it was raining between 3 a.m. and 5 p.m. or 5 p.m. and 3 a.m. Like this is a little bit more rain than, I'm, than we should be seeing. Yeah. Lo and behold, it was lo and beholding. Yes, that's right. All right, so we're helping you win any marketplace. Uh, Leo Kane in the house, longtime friend of the program. Barrel Engineering helping you with uh, structural engineering, different types of inspections as well uh, with that. Uh, I want to give a shout-out to Bill Maher Beach Resort over on Treasure Island. Beautiful beach resort uh, filled with fantastic and generous amenities to make your vacation that much more special. And it's a great place. you got to go check it out. they got beautiful uh, pools. They've got the Sloppy Joe's restaurant next door. And it's a huge beach. I mean, you've got literally just one of the longest beaches that you see. And uh, it's one of the great places to go hang out, enjoy a nice staycation, or possibly plan a wedding there, business trip, business outing. Bill Maher Beach Resort, the official hotel partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show. Give them a call. Let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. Take them up on special incentives and local uh, Florida resident pricing as well if you mention the Consumer Quarterback Show. And we'll make sure... Uh, we thank them for that. All right, so got a couple of hot listings here I want to let you know about here uh, in Tampa Bay. I got 1370 Gulf Boulevard uh, here on the beach. This is Clearwater Beach, beautiful property, $1.175 million, gorgeous beachfront living opportunity, Bella Rosa condo right on Sand Key, uh, 2,200 square feet, beautiful property, end unit, low maintenance fees there, condo fees are very low, and it's a great opportunity in Clearwater Beach. And uh, PlatinumMVPRealty.com. You can see all of our listings at PlatinumMVPRealty.com. We've got another beautiful property in Largo, uh, 12091 145th Street in Largo. Beautiful, beautiful property. Three bedrooms, two bath, $290,000 just reduced. It's close to Indian Rocks Beach, close to the marina. Uh, you got Krabby Bills right around the corner. You got Nature Park around the corner. And the best part is you're close to the water, but you're not paying high uh, or any flood insurance uh, on that mortgage note. So Brandon Rhymes here, Platinum MVP Realty, a couple of hot listings uh, in Tampa Bay. Sunshine. 
Because when you think about flood insurance, Nick, you know, adding on an extra policy like a flood insurance or some of these other add-ons, uh, HOAs in some cases, that can really affect the mortgage and, and the, the debt ratios of these buyers. You are correct. It can definitely affect that. That's why you want to make sure that you're checking these items out first. Uh, when you're speaking with your mortgage broker and you're doing your application, you want to make sure that you're overestimating your cost for your insurance, overestimating your cost for your HOAs, unless you know a specific property in the specific area. You want to make sure that you're qualified for the worst case scenario so there's not any surprises coming up closer to closing. Once we do, you know, gather all the documents, you get the purchase contract, we do all our due diligence and confirm the numbers and get the quotes. You know, it could be surprising to you, you know, if you're counting on your payment being $1,500 and you find out you have to pay flood, there's CDDs, there's HOAs, all of a sudden your $1,500 payment you're expecting can come up to $1,800, $2,000 a month, which if you're not prepared for that, that can definitely get you out of that home. So you definitely want to make sure you're asking these questions of your realtor, doing your own due diligence on your own and searching the areas that you're looking to buy in. So yeah. that's why you don't have surprises. You fall in love with a home that you may not be able to afford. Right. You don't want that disappointment. So yeah. make sure make sure you find this information out from your realtor. Ask myself, or like I said, you can Google search it. You can find anything on the interweb nowadays. So yeah. um, definitely you want to make sure you find that out. So this way I make sure I'm giving you a proper qualification. Yeah, that's that's right. You know, when you look at the, the process, I think a lot of times, especially for the, these first-time buyers, the people that just maybe haven't bought in a while, maybe they've lived in their home for a while, uh, what are some of the top questions that you're seeing or, or maybe misnomers that people have out there? The, the biggest thing that a lot of people are wondering is if they qualify, everybody's asking what they're interest rate's going to be. Um, I really don't like to sell interest rate. You can dictate what your interest rate's going to be. And a lot of people don't know this. Um, you know, if you're making biweekly, if you're paid biweekly, if you make a half a payment biweekly, mm -hmm. you can re uh, realistically not three years off of your mortgage mm. with just by paying biweekly. And by that, I mean, I like that 52 weeks in a year. If you make a biweekly payment, you're making 26 half payments. Well, you do the math, that's 13 full payments. We only have 12 payments in a year. So that's one extra payment going towards principal balance. So not only are you taking your large mortgage payment and cutting it in half so it doesn't hurt, you're not paying it all out of one paycheck, you're yeah. knocking three years worth of interest off of your mortgage. I like that. That right there, that can take a 5% rate and turn it into an effective rate of four and a half to four and three eighths. I like that. So if you're able to afford a couple extra hundred dollars a month towards principal, you can actually take that 5% rate and effectively make it in the threes. Mm -hmm. And so if you want that piece of paper to say a lower rate, that's one thing. But if you can take control of your financing and pay your mortgage off faster, you put your more equity in your home. You put yourself in a better buying position to buy income driven properties or pull money out to invest or repair your home or get with Leo here and make additions to your homes. There's a lot of things that can be done by making extra payments on your mortgage payments. Absolutely. Omaha! Might want to call that audible. We got Peyton Manning helping us with that audible there <laughs> uh, so so yeah so i think a lot of times people traditionally just pay that once a month they don't that's it mm -hmm. uh, but just by paying it differently mm -hmm. and and would you recommend do they set that up on an auto withdrawal is that what happens a lot of the mortgage companies and services out there will accept a bi-weekly payment plan for you so what they'll do is you'll make your first mortgage payment after you close two weeks later you're going to make a half a payment two weeks later you make another half payment that pays the following month so you are going to have to pay a half a month ahead to stay on that payment plan mm -hmm. um especially and i know i spoke about it last week a lot of com um, companies will come out of the woodwork and send you mailers trying to offer you bi-weekly payments right a lot of the time that's not coming from the mortgage company that's holding your note it's coming from third-party companies that are trying to make a dollar to do the same thing you can do yourself so especially when you close on your home, that's something you want to keep an eye out for. You want to make sure that those letters are coming from your servicer mm -hmm. and not a third-party company. Yep. Because you never know what can happen to that company. Do they go out of business? Where does your money go? Are they going to make your mortgage payment on time? You don't want to rely on somebody else to do something you should do yourself. Yeah, plus what they're doing is they're charging a six ninety five transaction fee every time you're making that pool, that payment, that, that uh, ACH, basically, I believe correct. is what they charge. You are correct. Yep. So. so they're hitting you that way, too. But if you just joined us, I'm your host, Brandon Rimes. Uh, you're listening to the Consumer Quarterback Show, powered by Platinum MVP Realty. We're talking with Nick Kick, uh, representing BBMC Mortgage. Uh, he's got extensive knowledge in the industry, uh, has a processing background, uh, some, some underwriting, sorry, I, I believe. Yeah, so, so, you know, and of course, now he's in sales, so he's helping 
being, you know, on the front end of, of properly preparing uh, buyers to be able to go out and buy real estate or maybe even refinance. You know, we don't right. talk a lot about the refinance market because it's a different uh, market that we're in right now. Rates are rising, but are you Correct. still seeing some refinance action? There's not as much refinancing out there. Um, there's some people that missed the boat. I'm working with an elderly lady that's had her same mortgage for 19 years. She got a 9% rate and never knew she can do any better. So I've actually, you know, turned around, got her a little cash out, paid off some debts, but dropped her rate in half. Wow. So she's saving money just off that alone. So there's people out there that don't know that they can actually qualify for a refinance and drop their payment. You know, she got in and, you know, the, the older people don't know. So if you have an older family member or such, ask them that question because you might be able to help save them some money. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's just a quick phone call to me. I can you know work it up pretty quickly and let them know if it's in their best interest. I'm not in the business to talk somebody into a loan that's not going to benefit them. So I'd like to give advice for that because, once again, I develop relationships with families and buyers and sellers and people that already own their home with refinances. I want to make sure that they're making the best of their investment. Yeah, absolutely. It's important, you know, that you're teaming up with the right team. We talk a lot about, you know, that overall financial blueprint that you have. You know, want to make sure your your CPA, your your uh, is talking to your financial advisor, who's talking to your mortgage team. You know, your your real estate involved, all these different aspects. Your attorney, your your estate planning attorney, all these different ideas because it's such an interconnected web of of uh, documents and, and plans. And if you're not doing certain things properly, uh, if you don't have your trust named properly, if you're not signing documents. Documents yes. properly, you're opening yourself up to uh, potential, you know, litigation, all types of issues that could potentially happen there. All right, stay with us when we come back. More from our expert contributors here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, and our feel-good story of the week is a good one. A small dog saves 11-year-old girl from abduction. Stay with us right here, Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. Hey, I'm Ken Shamrock, and you're here with Consumer Quarterback Show, and I say, Brandon Rhymes, knock out your competition. To get in touch with Brandon, call eight one three. 670-7372 online at consumerqb.com Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 U.S. Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair, and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978.
Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rimes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-670-7372. All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rimes here. I'm your host of the Consumer Quarterback Show. I'm also the owner of Platinum MVP Realty and a top listing agent here in Tampa Bay. We help our sellers profit more on the sale of their real estate properties by featuring them live on air on our daily show. Uh, been featured in Top Agent Magazine, the Tampa Bay Business Journal, uh, Top 40 Under 40, most recently selected to the top 1% of all realtors nationwide at an exclusive club. Uh, real excited about that. And uh, we're looking for uh, buyers, sellers, investors out there, of course. And we're also looking for real estate agents that may want to join our team. Uh, we're recruiting agents right now to our team. We're growing. We're setting records, a record number of leads coming in. And we've got great partners associated with the show as well. We want you to think about this show as the hub of your financial, your business, uh, your health, your real estate will. Each one of those spokes extending out, representing another one of our preferred partners, our expert contributors that we bring on the show uh, to help you understand more about your buying decisions out there, help you avoid a lot of that commission-based advice that's so prevalent in our community. And we're back here in studio helping you win wholebodyfuel.com, giving a shout out to our chef brian adamo and his team kevin and the team over there at wholebodyfuel.com they've got the world famous protein donuts now this is a convenient healthy delivered uh, meal service delivered directly to your home or office and what else do you have in this world if you don't have your health wholebodyfuel.com check them out they are excellent food i mean i'll tell you the the food it's like teasing the taste buds every day when i open up a new package and it's just super awesome food wholebodyfuel.com check them out let them know the real estate quarterback sent you take them up on special incentives and offers and i promise you you're gonna like it it's very nice and we're back here in studio helping you win a couple of hot listings here compliments of platinum mvp realty.com platinum mvp realty.com and we got one over in east county this is 5506 dallas way east hillsborough county River Hills Country Club, gated community, beautiful property, four bedrooms, three bath, $540,000, corner lot, pool home, one owner home that is an actual uh, contractor, building contractor, so he built this home himself. Uh, beautiful <laughs> property, 5506 Dallas Way in Valrico. And we got another one down in South Tampa, 3911 West Euclid Avenue in Tampa. Uh, four bedrooms, three full bath, two half bath, $830,000. Uh, gorgeous property here, listing of mine. And this property is in the Plant High School District in South Tampa. Ten foot ceilings throughout. Too many upgrades to list. Beautiful property. Check it out. PlatinumMVPRealty.com. And we are back here in studio. We got Nick Kick in the house. BBMC Mortgage. More from uh, Nick coming up. We're going to talk more about you know some of the veteran loan programs he has, down payment assistance programs, different uh, options for buyers out there, refinance options as well as purchase. Uh, but let's bring Leo Kane into the conversation. Barrel Engineering. Welcome back in, sir. Well, uh, this has been exciting for me. I mean, the Facebook Livers they get the, the huge TV to watch. I've been yeah. watching the huge TV. Now now the problem is going to be I can't have to watch this camera. And you got to focus now. Your face, or that camera, or that TV. So this is That's this right. is going to be a little confusing to me. We're gonna we're gonna have you focus in here now. So got it. So let's talk about barrel engineering. So barrel, you know, you're out there. You're helping consumers. You're helping the, the public. Uh, you know, the the season is here. So we got you know hurricanes and tropical storms coming up. Uh, there was just another sinkhole depression that opened up up in uh, Pasco County. Uh, what are you seeing out there, man? You're seeing a lot more than I am. I mean, I'm just excited about hurricane tropical storm. It's already gone. Yep. Gordon, because uh, what's going to happen is if you had a roof that was damaged by Irma and you didn't do anything, mm -hmm. and now that uh, this, this little baby tropical storm Gordon comes through, it's going to take your shingles off. It's going to remove more shingles. Gonna, you're going to see more leaks. It's just going to aggravate your already aggravated house because we yep. had Hermine in 2016. Mm -hmm. We had Irma in 2017, and now we have Gordon in 2018. I know everyone in Tampa is like, oh, nothing happened. But, I mean, Fort Myers, Naples, you have 35, 40-mile-an-hour winds. Yeah. If that's sustained over an hour period is enough to lift your roof off. Really? Yeah, the shingles, that, mm -hmm. that tab, once that tab breaks, the flappies go up, and then the, the water starts pouring in. Next thing you know, your, your ceiling's stained, your insulation's molded, mm -hmm. your, your kids are complaining of headaches, your dog is clawing to get out because he can't breathe because of the mold. All of this actually <laughs> happens. And that's all thanks, on, to, man. It's all thanks to Tropical Storm Gordon. So, so with that, now, 
if they have the, the shingles peeling off, if you have that underlayment, the peel and stick, does that protect you still? That does to some extent, but mm -hmm. it's only meant to be a secondary barrier. Yeah. Uh, and that stuff starts to, let's say you have some shingles blown off. That's great that you have that secondary water barrier. 30 days, that sun's going to crack it. It's going to be mm -hmm. useless. Yeah. It's a secondary barrier. It's only good if it doesn't see a sunlight. It's like a vampire. And even the 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 uh, east coast i almost said gulf coast the east coast they had higher sustained winds too right oh, yeah. miami was looking yeah, like miami. it was blowing hard. i mean it came out of nowhere it was mm -hmm. just like uh, it was the uh, sun was shining the weather was great next thing you know you're running for the hills tsunamis are coming at <laughs> yeah. you yeah that was crazy over the weekend it happened out of nowhere because we i think it, we were just kind of caught off guard from it well yeah we didn't get the usual news pressed about go to home depot and buy every single sheet of plywood they have we didn't yep. have to board up we, we it was no warning it was like it was almost like back when I was in the in the uh, in the Bible Belt in, in Texas, it, the tornadoes. They're the same way. They just come mm -hmm. out of nowhere. They do their destruction. They're gone. We have the luxury in Hurricaneville of knowing three, five, seven days out there might be a storm coming. Yeah, yeah. Technology is great these days. So with Barrel Engineering, you're out there. So you're a project manager. So you're you're managing different projects that your team is doing. Yeah, we do, we do inspections. I mean, this is a great chance to uh, highlight and showcase our website. Yeah, where we can show you that we uh, we're we're kind of split between home inspections, structural engineering. Can you scroll down just a little bit? Yeah. Um, this is awesome. We got our whole website up here, and we got uh, the certified master inspector logo because we have several certified master inspectors, uh, licensed and insured. And this is what I wanted to focus on right here: that safe home book. I know mm -hmm. the listeners can't see it, but go to our website, BarrelProjectEngineering.com, and we have a book you can download on how to make your home safer. And in that book, we even talk, oh, look, there's one of my appearances here. <laughs> nice. In that book, we even talk about what to do in the event of a hurricane, what to do with your pets, and what to do with your elderly in the event of a hurricane. Nice. So you're covering all the bases there. Give us an idea of your team and, and your, your reach that you offer as well. Well, our reach right now is an hour in any direction from Tampa. Okay. Um, but we're getting ready to expand in October. We'll be in Fort Myers, Naples. We'll be in uh, Arbondale, Lakeland. We'll be in Melbourne, Cocoa Beach. Mm. So we're expanding in the next month across three other markets. So and if you've got friends down in Fort Myers and Naples that have sustained wind damage from Hurricane or Tropical Storm Gordon, have them contact us. We can help you fight your insurance company. Because one yeah. thing we learned from Hermine and then Irma was the insurance companies want to fight you as much as possible. Yep. You need to have an expert. You need to have a public adjuster, and you need to have a team, like a lawyer team, on that that can fight your insurance company and get you your money back. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's it's you versus them in many cases. It, it ends up being you know the te the team that you're on ends up kind of cannibalizing. You know, it's like you think you have an insurance company that cares that's going to work with you, but what are you seeing? Like, so you go out there, you're you're giving these different estimates you're, you're getting involved with the public adjusters or at least you know kind of playing it in the same uh sandbox so to speak now what happens when it comes to filing a claim and getting paid oh, out? i've seen it firsthand if i can tell a story so yep. not separate from wind damage i had two drunk people in a stolen truck crash into my retaining wall wow and there was a homeless person on a stolen bicycle between them and the retaining wall so <laughs> they, okay. they took out a homeless lots person, of crime happening lots here. of crime they smashed into the retaining wall because the truck ran out of gas and they lost control. So the insurance company comes out. I file my claim. It's already going to be, it's called subrogated, which means I file the claim against my company, but my company is going to just turn around and file the claim against, uh, against the auto insurance. So they're going to get 100% payout. So they come out, they send their adjuster. Their adjuster says it'll cost $3,000 to replace the wall. And that's hmm. going to be the payout. Well, then they depreciate it and they take the deductible out. Yep. And I'm like, no. I'm like, you find me a contractor that's going to replace a three-foot-high retaining wall 100 feet for $3,000. They're like, that's what our estimate is. I'm like, you find me a contractor that estimate's based off of. Yeah. So I had three contractors. Jason Avery was one of them. Yep. Provide me estimates anywhere from ten to $12,000. I provide those to the insurance company. They're like, well, our estimates are like, I'm like, bull. Yeah. And I can't use those words on the air, so I'm like, dancing <laughs> around. But I'm like, bull. And I'm like, you don't have someone that can physically do the work at this price. Here's three. I'm going to sue you unless you give me this money because I already know you're just going to turn around and get it from the auto insurance company. So even on something they were going to get fully reimbursed from another company, mm -hmm. they still fought me. 
Yeah, it happens. It happens all the time. And and even in, you know, let's say, for example, you're building a house, you're in the middle of building a house. Uh, you know, you've got to have someone that can go in there and look at it from a professional's point of view, someone that sees real estate properties every day, multiple properties per week. Uh, and, and you come in there and you say, okay, here's our uh, expert witness or expert uh, you know testimony when it comes to that and then then they're going to take you more serious well yeah i mean if you're building a new house you want to have periodic inspections i mean the city and county are so overloaded they're they're pushing third-party providers these builders like um the the, the big ones i don't want to, to yeah. name them the big box yeah. builders they have an engineer that works for them that sits on that property that just walks around and signs off inspections. Right. I don't know how many times we've been brought in where that engineer had never actually stepped foot inside of a house. Mm. The inside's done wrong. That engineer is now up to lose his license. We're involved in a lawsuit against the, the builder because they didn't build what they promised. Yeah. And this happens more and more because these builders want to put these houses up as fast as possible, getting ready for that next housing collapse. That's right. Yeah, they're, they're you know, they're, they're just, they're more worried about the long run setup, the profits that they're going to make but yeah, so so we'll touch more on that when we come back. We'll talk about you know the different aspects of you know sinkholes too. Let's touch on that one. That one there was another one that opened up. I want to get the uh, the Leo Kane perspective on that one, and we'll talk about that as well. With uh, we got Nick Kick in the house as well. BBMC Mortgage. I'm going to talk more about mortgage real estate where we're seeing the market going. Uh, per early predictions for the end of the year and, and maybe the next 12 months right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. And when we come back, our feel good story of the week is a good one. Small dog saves 11 year old girl from a Production. Yes, he's going to bite some legs here. We'll stay, stay with us right here. Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. Hey, everybody. I'm Forbes Riley, celebrity TV fitness host and creator of The Spin Gym. I'm here today with Brandon Rimes, and you're listening to The Consumer Quarterback Show. Great ways to get happy, healthy, and wealthy. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 U.S. Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair, and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. Hi, my name is Joe Staltieri. I'm one of the owners of Complete Care Systems. At Complete Care Systems, we do carpet cleaning, upholstery cleaning, tile and grout cleaning, tile and grout sealing, wood floor and laminate floor deep cleaning, as well as stripping and waxing of linoleum and vinyl floors and a whole lot more. We also run daily deals and special, which you can find at CompleteCareSystems.com or simply call Trisha up at 727-364. 5158 and she'll answer all your questions and give you over the phone free estimates or she'll send me out to your home or office to give you an on-site free estimate. At Complete Care Systems, we don't cut corners, we clean them.
You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rimes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at ConsumerQB.com. All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rimes here. I'm your host of the Consumer Quarterback Show. I'm a top listing agent here uh, in Tampa Bay as well. And a former USF football player, played on the inaugural football team at the University of South Florida. And now we are quarterbacking a different game. We're quarterbacking introductions to our buyer, sellers, investors out there. We're quarterbacking uh, introductions to all of our expert contributors, 80-plus show partners that we have uh, here on the show. We've got attorneys, uh, financial advisors, CPAs, all types of folks that can help you understand more about your buying decisions, help you avoid a lot of that commission based advice that's so prevalent uh, in our community. So it's a consumer quarterback show here powered by platinum MVP realty.com. A couple of hot listings here. We just did a major reduction at 215 12th Avenue Northeast in St. Petersburg. Uh, we just did a hundred thousand dollar reduction down to $1.299 million. Beautiful listing of mine in the old Northeast section of St. Petersburg. This is a gorgeous property. Uh, you got to check it out. 215 12th Avenue Northeast St. Petersburg. Four bedrooms, five bath. And it is brand new, beautiful property in the old Northeast section of St. Petersburg. Uh, check it out. PlatinumMVPRealty.com. Also a great property in South Tampa. 103 South Habana Avenue. This is a five bedroom, three bath property. $570,000, just reduced this one as well, owners motivated, and we are looking for offers, and entertaining all offers, realtor bonus uh, offered on this one as well, charming South Tor Tampa home, five bedrooms, three baths, 2450 square feet, uh, $570,000, just reduced, beautiful property, 103 South Havana in Tampa, so check them out at PlatinumMVPRealty.com. Also, bookmark our website, ConsumerQB.com. You can find links to all of our expert contributors there, ConsumerQB.com. In studio today, we got Nick Kick, uh, BBMC Mortgage, our mortgage expert uh, contributor, Leo Kane, Barrel Engineering as well. Uh, so let's, we're going back to Nick now. So Nick, uh, you know, we, we had kind of teased where we're going to talk down payment, uh, veteran loan programs. You know, there's there's options out there. I think people, a lot of times, they just don't understand the options. And then also, you know, I want to come up on some of these, you know, gosh, how do you call it? These these other uh, mortgage companies out there, the bait and switch that's out there, you know, people promising to pay your closing costs and all that kind of thing. You know, I think we should talk about those three aspects there. Okay. Not a problem. Um, I mean, first of all, I know we kind of touched on it last week. The big thing and the most common misconception is the first time home buyer programs. Everybody believes or doesn't know that if they, it's just if they haven't owned a home in the past three years, they qualify as a first time home buyer. Most people think, you know, I owned a home 10 years ago. They are not a first time home buyer. That is not true. The big thing is three years. You can qualify for these down payment assistance programs for different types of lower down payment loans that can get you into a home with next to nothing. Um, and that's what we like to work on. We want to make sure people aren't breaking their bank and using my money in order to purchase a home. Right. You know, there's a lot of other things that they can do with that money. They can make improvements on their home. They can make investments, different things like that that can be better used with their, their cash flow that they have. Um, we do work with the counties and the bond, like I said before, the $7,500 down payment assistance. You know, you work with great realtors like Brandon himself and you get some seller contribution. You don't have to worry about paying any closing costs typically. Um, and I mean, you might come out of pocket with a little bit of money. I'm not going to pay all of your closing costs, but I'll assist with that as well as you. Um, our VA products, we do offer no bank charges. Now, I'm not saying all closing costs are paid for. I'm saying we will not charge you as a bank. We're not charged processing, underwriting, origination, any of those types of fees. Yeah. Um, and I know um, with your veterans as well, you give a rebate to the veteran. That's so right. you put the conjunction of that with my VA product, you're going to come out of pocket with next to nothing. Yeah. Um, and that's a beautiful product. You can get 100% financing with VA eligibility. It only takes the veterans a phone call to see if they're eligible um, to, the, to the VA and if they're qualified and they can get a uh, solid certificate of eligibility, we can get their loan done in under 30 days. Um, and that's something our office prides on. Uh, we're average closing right now is 17 days from contract to close. 
So you can get into a home faster. It gives you a little bit of extra time to find that home that you want. You don't have to make the first offer because you sold your home already. Mm-hmm. You know, you go ahead and start working with me. I'll get you fully qualified through underwriting right away. So this way you'll have a little extra time to find that right home. Don't settle for something that you not absolutely fall in love with because this is a very large purchase. Probably one of the most, you know, the largest purchases you're going to make in a lifetime multiple times over. That's right. Yeah, for most people. So, yeah, a lot of ground covered there. So so veterans, 100% financing available through VA programs uh, with Nick Kick, BBMC Mortgage. Uh, the down payment assistance programs are there. He can take his team. Uh, they've got, you know, systems in place to be able to find this down payment money uh, for first-time home buyers. By the way, it's a three-year rule. If you haven't owned in three years, uh, then you're good to go there. $7,500 down payment assistance programs. And there's others as well. Uh, I, I often talk about a, a deal I did years years ago uh, where I, I was able to assist uh, I was um, $20,000 from one source, $25,000 from another source, $45,000 total of down payment assistance dollars that uh, otherwise people wouldn't know about. Correct. Correct. And uh, there is a lot of other products out there that we can shop for. I'm um, just kind of want to talk about the most common ones. Um, some other area I wanted to touch on is business owners. A mm-hmm. lot of self-employed borrower, uh, borrowers are unable to show enough income on their tax returns. Mm. You know, they, they have a lot of write-offs and such. They don't want to pay as much taxes, so they're able to do that. But when it comes to buying a mortgage, that's not always the best thing for the simple fact that you're not showing on paper what you actually take in per month. So yeah. I do have products specifically for those as well. We can use bank statements, all kinds of other products with that as well. Um, our property investors as well, I touched on a little bit last week. Instead of paying cash for just one home, give me a call. We might be able to come up with a way that you can get a couple of income-driven properties. Instead of plunking $200,000 cash, you come to me. I can get you three homes at 20% down on each of them. That's three income-driven properties for you. So you just tripled the amount of income on one purchase nice. than you would have if you had to plunk down cash. Always better to use my money. My, my OPM. Yes, I, I love that saying, and I, I like to stick with that. Um, you know, I'd Go ahead and use and abuse our bank because it's only going to make you more profitable. It's going to allow us to assist in creating your legacy. Um, you know, And if I'm able to help you create a legacy, obviously it'll help your family and your friends as well. Um, so it's something I would definitely like to discuss with you, so please give me a call so this way we can discuss what we can do for you. And also let your realtors know that I have a product that, as an investor, we're not taking any income documentation. We're going straight off what the rent roll is on that property. Mm. That's going to dictate if you qualify for that loan or not. So if the property can rent for what your principal and interest payments or principal interest taxes and insurance payments are going to be, we're good to go. So I don't have to look at your tax returns. I don't have to look at your bank statements to try to develop deposits and develop an income that way. It goes straight off of what the property can rent for if you qualify. And it makes sense. It's kind of like a commercial you know, loan. The, the commercial mm-hmm. loans, they're looking at what they call the debt service coverage ratio. You know, exactly. They're able to cover the debt. So you know, all the tenants in the big skyscrapers or the big buildings that you see out there, mm-hmm. that's what happens is they look at you know, all these different units are occupied. They're creating this amount of, of uh, you know, income, revenue, and then now counteracting that against our uh, debt. You know, wow, that's the way the loan works. So that's great. So you have that for investors. Um, I was going to ask you about non-qualified mortgages, non, you know, non-conforming subprime. Correct. We used to call it. I was going to ask you about that, and then also the seller concessions. Uh, the seller concessions also, you know, that's something maybe people might not understand more about. So right, the uh, seller concessions. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. The seller concessions, um, you definitely want to work with your realtor on seeing if they can get the sellers to pay some of the closing costs for you. I'm seeing on average between 2 to 3%. A lot of sellers are giving towards closing for our borrowers. So this is less money out of pocket for the buyers. Right. Um, and, I mean, yes, it's taking a little money out of the seller's pocket, but it's putting it into your pocket. And it's, you know, once again, as you said, other people's money. If you're able to, you know, leverage other people's money to help you buy a home, that's what myself and Brandon are here for, to make sure that we're giving you the best product and the best deal possible. Um, so I definitely, definitely want you guys to talk to your realtors about that because this is how you're able to come out of pocket with next to nothing on the products that I offer. Yeah. Um, and allows you, like I said, 
use your money for other things, improve your property, invest in other real estate or invest in the market. Um, you know, so this way it puts you in a better financial stable, stable position. Yeah, I like it. So uh, if you want to give us a holler, reach out to our hotline, 813-670-7372. That's our Consumer Advocate Hotline. You can call or text that line, 813-670-7372. And we're going to help you win no matter what you're looking to do. Uh, we can also, also offer you a free uh, home valuation. If you want to know what the value is of your home, we can help you with that as well. Uh, you can text the word value to our hotline, 813 670 Seven three seven two. If you want to know the value of any real estate properties that you own, uh, just s send us a text message with the word value, and then we'll reply back asking you for the actual address. Uh, so if you text value to 813-670-7372, we're going to get back to you make sure that we you know, find out what that property is valued at for you. And that's Nick Kick here in studio with us, BBMC Mortgage, our uh, local area expert, expert contributor in the mortgage space. So uh, re we want you reaching out to him for all your pre-qualifications, refinances, purchasing, uh, investor opportunities as well. And when we come back, more from our expert contributors, Leo Kane in the house, Barrel Engineering. And uh, our feel-good story of the week is a good one. A small dog saves 11-year-old girl from abduction. Stay with us right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, <laughs> ConsumerQB.com. Thanks for listening to my daddy's show. For more information, go to ConsumerQB.com. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rimes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-670-7372. All right. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. I'm your host, Brain of Rhymes here. I'm a top agent in Tampa Bay looking for real estate agents to join our team. Uh, if you're an agent out there and uh, you want to grow your business and, and grow your celebrity, we can help you do that uh, utilizing our unique strategies uh, that we employ. We're actually licensing the product nationwide now with uh, Ken Shamrock, uh, the uh, UFC Hall of Famer. He's our business partner on uh, the Business Growth Celebrity Academy. So uh, real excited about that. And we can help you too. All right. 113 Seahorse Drive in, in uh, St. Petersburg. This is uh, Seahorse Drive Southeast uh, B, Unit B, two bedroom, two bath, waterside at Coquina Key. Uh, beautiful property. It's all about lifestyle, serenity, and the water here uh, in St. Petersburg. If you look at some of the 
shots online. By the way, our, our real estate photography is done by Fabray Frameworks. They do a great job on all of our real estate photography and video. Uh, they've got some great shots here of this property. And you can see the uh, open waters of the bay. I mean, where can you buy a $169,000 asset and have beautiful bay views like that, right? So a beautiful property there. 103 South Havana Avenue in Tampa. Another great investment opportunity. Nick was talking about investor loans uh, in the last segment. And, the you know, these investor loans are, are excellent opportunity for you to be able to buy a property like this, Airbnb it. You know, put a long-term tenant, whatever you want to do. The rents are high. You're able to cash flow these properties. 103 South Havana Avenue in South Tampa uh, just reduced down to $565,000. Beautiful property here in gorgeous Tampa Bay. All right, so every day we're telling you something positive. We're bringing some positivity into your life, and today's a good one. We got a real good one here for you. So a small dog saves 11-year-old girl from abduction. So a family of an 11-year-old girl say a, a man attacked her uh, who was trying to kidnap her and give her a chance to run home. So the dog helped out. So Bianca Hernandez said her little sister saw the male suspect looking at her strangely while he was out walking her two-year-old beagle mix, Ray. The driver actually catches up to her, gets out of the vehicle, and grabs her, Hernandez said. He grabbed her by the arm and said, come on. Uh, the 11-year-old resisted the attacker, and she said she was losing the struggle. But that's when their 15-pound dog saved the day. The dog was like, uh-uh, this is not any regular person. So, yeah, he went for a bite in the leg, and it was the only way for her to get herself free. Hernandez said the little girl was then able to run home. She and both Ray survived the attack without physical injuries. Uh, we're blessed that she is okay, uh, Hernandez said. So, cool story. Cool dog. Little dog, big fight. Yeah, get that dog a milk bone, right? <laughs> he deserved his milk bone that day. Give him some extra. So, all right, so let's let's uh, we're jumping into our lightning round here. So we've got our lightning round, top tips, nuggets of advice, uh, words of wisdom, and uh, our lightning round. The lightning round. I am so good at lightning rounds. I majored in lightning rounds. All right, Leo Kane, let's start with you, sir. Well, let's go back to that sinkhole up in. Uh... Newport Ritchie, I know 11 <laughs> properties right now that are 30% cheaper overnight. There you go. So if you're looking to buy three homes for the price of one, that could be an area. You can pick up three active sinkhole properties. And, um, and the thing with those, too, a lot of times, like I had one listed. It didn't last long. The, the owner was, you know, a bit particular, but uh, we'll say that. But, uh, you know, when a property's been repaired for a sinkhole, it's actually a better property in terms of risk for, for an additional sinkhole, right? Right, that's the interesting part about the street with the Newport Ritchie sinkhole is some of the properties on the street have been remediated and they had ground injection and they're not really worried about those houses right now. They're worried about the other ones because two sinkholes are starting to connect, right? which is jeopardizing up to 11 homes. So um, wow. yeah, you can pick up 11 homes on the cheap right now as people are panicking. You might need to put it, a couple of million in the ground and crowd, but eh. that's what happens, right? So you got to put these these what is it? Just a big, uh, like a round container or not a container, but it's going to go down in the ground. It's, describe that process. How does that look? Oh, basically, it's uh, you know those trucks you see with the rotating uh, drum barrels. Yes. Yeah, just imagine fifty or sixty of those, or five hundred of those, showing up to a house and then taking something they called an elephant trunk, which is the long hose, and they put it up in the air, put it down on the ground, and they just dump grout in there until the hole fills up. Wow. That's that's got to be costly, huh? Oh yeah, it could be. Um, if they catch it now and it's a baby sinkhole, it could be like two, three hundred thousand to fix. If they if, it, mm. if these sinkholes all meet up together and it collapses, and we end up with like another Lake Pragent. You'd be looking at a billion dollars in, in re remediation required. Wow. All right, let's go to Nick Kick here. Top tips, nuggets of advice in the lightning round here, sir. Top tips of advice is get out and find your home now. Right now, property values are going up quicker every day. Interest rates are going up quicker every day. Get off your seat, talk to your realtor, find that home. If you're thinking you want to buy a home in a year or sometime next year or in two years, now's the best time to buy while the properties are low and the rates are still low. Get out there, sign your contract, get a hold of me. Let's get you some other people's money and get you into that home right away. That's I could right. probably or look into qualifying you with your current home and the new home possibly. So you might not even have to sell your current home. You can get into your dream home now, yeah. rent your current property out, and start your portfolio. 
Let's see what we can do for I you. I like that. Don't hold back. Let's get into yeah. it, why it's getting as good. People don't realize you, you're paying cost every time you buy and sell. So if you can get into a situation where your income's increased and you can keep that home, maybe you paid it down to a certain point, uh, you're able to you know, maybe refinance and keep the payment low, and then you're able to put a positive uh, renter in there, a renter that's paying positive income. Now you've got a rental property and you're able to buy your dream home. That's a real win-win. That's how you build wealth over time. Yes, and uh, what I do a lot of times as well is we'll pull equity out of their current home. They've done mm. a great job. They might, they make the biweekly payments. They make extra payments per year towards their principal balance. Their property values have gone up. They have substantial equity in their current home that they can turn around and pull that cash out and invest in a new home. So they have two properties for the price of one. So that is something that has been done quite a bit. That's most of the refinances I've done is – with clients pulling money out of their current home to put a down payment on a new home. Um, that's about the, the, the extent of the refinances right now that I've been doing. Yeah, that's a good point. All right, I'm going to get you with an audible here again. Omaha! Omaha! All right, so, one of those. So here's the audible, what we got here in, in my lightning round nuggets. It's called the SMART Goal Setting Method. It's the SMART Method, right, by Paul J. Meyer, I guess, is the one that invented So. S, the S in SMART stands for specific. Every goal should be detailed, specific, and precise. The M stands for measurable. Each goal should be trackable and measurable in increment. Uh, A stands for action-oriented, results. What can you do to obtain this goal? You've got to take action, right? Tony Robbins talk, talks about a, a massive action plan uh, when you start talking about goal setting. R, the R in SMART stands for realistic and relevant, enough to challenge you but within reach. You should never use a goal that sets you up for failure. This could be harmful for your, your self-esteem and your self-concept. The T uh, stands for time-based goals. Tell yourself you know, the, that you have a certain amount of time to get the goal completed. It helps keep you accountable for your actions. Maybe it creates a little bit of, of uh, you know, a fire there, so to speak, and it keeps you from procrastinating, moving, moving toward your goal. And you can always extend that time frame if it comes down to it. So there's your smart method of goal setting. Uh, create an action plan. Create a list of goals. Write it down. Make sure you don't just have it in the air. It needs to be written down. Take it from your mind or something magical that goes from taking it from your mind onto paper, onto your journal, and, and write down your goals. Focus on the Pareto principle. What can you do every day? What is that 20% of tasks that's going to contribute to 80% of your success? Focus on that, and you're going to be a winner. You're going to grow your income. And we live in the best time. It's the most opportunistic time to be alive uh, as a human being right now. Uh, we've got so many uh, successes uh, you know, and, and things that are afforded to us. So uh, let's do another lightning round here. So let's go back to Leo Kane, Barrel Engineering. Top tips, nuggets of advice, parting words of wisdom. Well, as we just learned from Tropical Storm Gordon, they can appear in the Gulf and impact you with less than 48 hours notice. It is not, it is never too late. Or actually, it's always too late. It's never too early to start your hurricane prep kit. Make sure your batteries are in your refrigerator so you know where to find them. They don't last longer. You just know where to find them. Make sure your <laughs> flashlights are easily accessible. Make sure you have at least 24 to 36 bottles of water lying around. Make sure you have Ziploc bags so when you know the storm's coming, you can load those bags up with water, throw those bags in the freezer, and you'll have ice. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you have a first aid kit handy. Fire extinguisher, portable radio that actually takes C or D batteries. Make sure you have those C or D batteries. The list goes on and on. And you can find that list at our website. Barrel Engineering. Oh, he's not ready. Got him twice. Barrel Project. Barrelprojectengineering.com. We got that Hurl Hurricane Kit on what we recommend that you have right there on the website. He's still <laughs> okay. not ready. But uh, yes, that's, that's their nuggets of wisdom. Do I get an Omaha? <coughs> you want an Omaha? I want an Omaha. Here you go. We got some good buttons here. We don't use them all all the time. I'll make them an offer you can't refuse. Yeah, go for buttons. Get, get yeah. your hurricane kit together. It's an offer you can't refuse. There you go. Nick Kick, top tips, nuggets of advice. Uh, I mean, the biggest thing is people that do not think they qualify for a home mortgage, make a call. Let's see what we can do. There might be a few things on your credit that you can do on your own to fix or speak to one of our show contributors that can help you repair your credit as well. Uh, definitely reach out. Don't think that you cannot buy a home because you don't have money in the bank. We have first-time home buyer programs. We have great realtors out there getting you seller contributions. We have products that have low fees um, or no fees as for our veterans. So just don't think, don't count yourself out. There might be a few quick things that you can do to get into that home and start your legacy. That's right. Yeah, good stuff. You know, we've got ways that you can engage with us as well. We're having our monthly gratitude party uh, coming up in the next couple of weeks here. If you're a business owner out there, manager, sales 
you know, reach out if you'd like to be involved with our group. We're looking for expert contributors for the show. Uh, we're interviewing right now, so it's got to be, you know, you've got to have some some kind of a uh, knowledge base or some kind of value add uh, to be a part of the show. And we have our gratitude party coming up, Cox Media Group. We're going to be doing our show uh, party over there, catered food, beer and wine coming up on the uh, 19th. And a lot of good stuff happening around the show. I want to thank our expert contributors, Nick Kick, BBMC Mortgage. Thanks so much for uh, coming in and, and dropping the knowledge to our listeners, our viewers of our TV show out there. And uh, Leo Kane as well, Barrel Engineering, a longtime friend of the program. And, uh, you know, helping, you know, folks out there when it comes to the inspection, the, the sinkhole, the the uh, different types, of, you know, and soil testing. You know, some of those things need to be done. You got to make sure that you're able to, you know, be in that position. Follow us online. We'd love to connect with you. Facebook.com, Consumer Quarterback Show. Uh, we at Brandon Rhymes one on Instagram and Twitter. And uh, please go out there and consider committing that random act of kindness that we always talk about. Do something kind for one another. Uh, pack up some food. Go volunteer. Uh, go to a uh, you know elderly folks home, nursing home. Reach out and, and let them, you know, tell them your stories. You know, tell have them reflect on their past listen to their stories and do something kind for one another and we'll see you next time right here on the consumer quarterback show consumerqb.com you've been listening to the consumer or financial advice let brandon call your next that's 813-670-7372 Join us next time for the Consumer Quarterback Show. 8 a.m. 1380. The Biz. Are you a real estate agent looking to take your business to the next level and supercharge your marketing? Hi, I'm Brandon Rimes, owner of Platinum MVP Realty and host of the Real Estate Quarterback Show syndicated radio and TV show talk program on iHeartRadio, 1025 The Bone, daily 5 o'clock drive time on 1380 The Biz, and our TV show is on WeBeam TV. We're looking for real estate agents that want to join our team and supercharge their marketing utilizing some of our innovative strategies. We utilize the Real Geeks platform, Facebook marketing, internet marketing, and a lot of the traditional methods as well. Postcard mailers mailed for you, postage, signage, business cards all paid for by the company. Aggressive real estate splits and ways to help you win in any marketplace. We need you to go out, take applications, and work our plethora of leads that we're generating on a daily basis. Reach out by clicking the form below, and we'd love to have a confidential interview with you. Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978.